The reason for building this is I can move it from area to area and it keeps the cattle off the manger, which they make a mess of. And instead of having to clean the manger off and uh, on a regular basis to keep it decent, I can now move the feeder around from spot to spot and use manure as fertilizer in areas that it needs. So it makes it easy accessible, easy to move, and saves me time and, and money by not having to use my tractor or manpower to clean the manger off. So how much did it cost you to make that? Nothing. Time. I had the plastic drum, we had the angorn. All we had to do was cut it and piece it together and weld it. And we ended up with a nice little bunk feeder. There's the drum. We bolted the drum together after we cut it in half, <laughs> laid out our angle iron uh, to build the base. And here's Bob doing some cutting and squaring everything up, getting ready to weld the corners for our base. Cut the uprights that he's going to weld on later. Bob, he's my welder's partner, Bob. We worked together on the farm. And we squared it up and he started welding the corners for the base. While he welded that, I was measuring and cutting the sides that we were gonna stand up, the uprights. And we're welding those on now. Then we'll put a top rail on top of those uprights to frame in the drums. We're turning the angle iron out. We've got pre-drilled holes in the side where the barrel is going to make contact. He gets those welded up, then we'll set the barrel in. It makes it handy when you can do the welding and we've got a shop down at Bob's farm to do the work that we need. There the drums are in and he's putting the ends, welding them together. That keeps the drums from coming out up over the end. We turn the angle iron inward. That way it encapsulates it. I'm gonna drill holes later on and bolt the drums to the angle iron for the sides. And here he's drilling the holes in the pre-drilled holes that we already had in the angle iron. So all he's got to drill through now is the, the drum with the ends being encased. We only added four bolts to each half of the drum. So we had a total of eight bolts, which we had laying around. 